Florence, Italy exists in a duality. It's both the birthplace of the Renaissance and home to current internationally recognized brands. The techniques of the past are met with the technological advances of the future. Marist, in partnership with the Istituto Lorenzo de' Medici, offers students the opportunity to explore a city that has experienced many transformations and is home to both modern and historic designs. International brands that cross cultures and borders can be found in this city due to its global nature. An education in digital media, coupled with a strong liberal arts foundation, prepares students for careers in web design, animation, and the graphic arts. Well, at first you don't really think of Florence as a technological, it's more of like the Renaissance art. I think Florence has a really cool way of combining older art and combining older methods of art with the new technology that maybe other areas might not focus on and I think that it's a really cool mix. At a certain point it uh, appeared to me absolutely clear when I uh, stand in front of the David statue. This has been done here and has not been done here uh, by an artist but by a designer. So I think here in Florence meeting new people, uh, talking with professional teachers, uh, they can understand something better about their future. The classes are usually pretty small, pretty, which I like, I prefer because you get a good connection with your teacher, your teacher knows who you are, um, and it's a pretty mixed dynamic of people. I think that it's important for us, uh, uh, like teacher, to share our, not just our knowledge, but our personal and professional experiences with them. And in this way, they have an international brief. And everyone has different ideas and different processes, so it's really cool to see how someone else works on something or how someone else interprets something completely different from you. Um, and it's cool to share those ideas and get ideas for what you're working on through someone else's work. Our mission is also to let students uh, control the technology, not being controlled by the technology. A graphic designer needs to know everything about everything. Done sculpting, painting, photo, um, drawing, and then mix that in with a lot of different um, web design and web animation, and then also art history and some history classes. Um, so it's a nice eclectic mix, and you learn a lot about art and design and how the two work together. If you come here to study, it's be not just because uh, uh, not just because of the academic part, but because you want to learn a, a real job and you are thinking about your career. Pretty much every class we go out into the city and take pictures of first impressions of the city and architecture of the city. Um, and I think it's a great way to learn about art and it's a great way if you are an art or a graphic design major because the city has so much art that you can draw so much from a city and so much through just walking around. I've always wanted to go abroad and, and just go in Europe. It was like one of my dreams was to travel. So as soon as I heard about it, I was like, I need to sign up for that. It's, it's a good time to be a graphic designer, a designer in general, because uh, uh, we have a new world to explore.